All right, at 602, Eyewitness News now taking you inside the mafia. A pretty big day ahead in court expected as the reputed former head of the New England mob is expected to plead guilty today. It marks the end of a case we've covered for more than a year now. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan joins us live this morning with more from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, this certainly will be a big day in court. As you mentioned, we followed this case for over a year, but the feds have followed it for much longer than that. It is this morning that both Luigi Baby Shacks Monocchio, as well as accused captain, mob captain, Edward Leto, are expected to change their pleas to guilty. Now, it's all part of a plea deal that was reached last week. They are expected to admit to federal racketeering charge. Monocchio is accused of running a continuing criminal enterprise that shook down strip clubs for protection money. In the agreement, federal prosecutor William Furlan wrote, Monocchio will admit he, quote, was an organizer of criminal activity in the case and that the activity was, quote, extensive. In addition to Monocchio and Leto, three other mob suspects are also expected to plead guilty. Meanwhile, convicted mob associate Thomas L I Iafredi is behind bars after recovering from a heart attack. The former bookkeeper for the Cadillac Lounge in Providence was convicted of delivering extortion payments to Monocchio. Now, all five defendants associated with this plea deal do face up to 20 years in prison. But when it comes to Monocchio, the man that feds believe ran New England mob for quite a long time, it specifically notes that if his sentence falls anywhere between 63 and 78 months, that he will not be allowed to appeal. We are live this morning in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom. Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.